when you, when you're frustrated with dating and who isn't, mm -hmm. you want to have some surefire method that's going to work. Thank you so much for joining us today on Second Act TV. Once again, I want to welcome back Sandy Weiner, the dating coach and relationship expert and the author of Choice Points in Dating. Thanks for being here again, Sandy. Thank you, Soka. Sandy, today, I think we have a very interesting discussion. There's actually something new on the dating front again, especially as it concerns digital or online dating. And that's the burned haystack method. <laughs> you brought this to my attention. Uh, let, let's talk about that. What, what is the burned haystack method? Yeah. So I read about this on the Huffington Post. Somebody had sent it to me and I was fascinated because I think the title was something like, I tried everything else and nothing worked. And then I tried this and I, it, and it worked, you know, and it's like when, you, when you're frustrated with dating and who isn't, mm -hmm. you want to have some surefire method that's going to work. And so I read the article by Jenny Young. She is not a dating coach or a relationship expert. She's an English professor. Her whole thing is rhetoric and understanding words. And it really put a, a new light on dating. You know, her whole theme, the way I understand it, is that you burn the whole field <laughs> you know, to find a needle in the haystack. Do I have that right? Yeah, she looked up, how do you find a needle in the haystack? Because that's yeah. what everybody's looking for, that unicorn mm -hmm. and the needle, the needle in the haystack. So the way to find a needle, a piece of metal in the haystack is to burn the haystack. And so how do you burn the haystack? How you use that metaphor in online dating is you block and burn, she calls it, block and burn anyone who is not a good match. And I think the way most people think about blocking is just if somebody's really annoying to you, but she takes that to a whole new level. And so I would love to talk about her 10 rules and what I think is really great that she does and some things that I might do a little differently. Absolutely. Let, let, let's get down to them. The first rule here uh, to remember is that the app is a tool. It's not a place to live. Explain that. Well, I couldn't agree with this one more. I think a lot of people spend way too much time on apps and mm -hmm. it can make you crazy. What happens is people get burnt out. They mm -hmm. spend too much time. I have, a, I just finished teaching a course on online dating and one of the women came to the, to the last meeting saying mm -hmm. she's so frustrated. She's just can't find anybody to mm -hmm. go on a date with. Now she's been on the site for two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. So I haven't been on any first dates yet. And I'm like, okay, let's get real here. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, how long are you spending? Cause I tell them not to spend more than 20 minutes a day. And I know Jenny says not more than five minutes a day. Mm -hmm. She was spending throughout her day, just checking, checking, checking. And there's this anxiety that builds when you're checking too often. Mm -hmm. And so you really want to minimize how much time you spend. Yeah. Well, that, that makes sense. That makes, yeah, like it makes it. absolute sense. I guess five minutes, you know, I, I, I don't know if that's, you know, can you do it in five minutes, but I guess that's up to the, the individual, but yeah, I think the, the message here, uh, yeah, don't, don't get, don't, don't have this take over your life. So yeah, good, a good rule. Good, good yeah. rule to know. Uh, the second one here, focus on messaging over scrolling and swiping that, that in messaging is where you find, you know, the information that you want. I mean, that, that, that makes sense. What, let's talk about that a little bit further. What, what does she mean here? So she says, don't, in, don't engage with any messages that are not personalized. Like if somebody goes, Hey, you're beautiful. Yeah. Any of those, <laughs> you know, people, she would just block and burn. She would just say, these are people who are not serious. So I wouldn't engage. I would say, mm -hmm you know, engage with a few messages. If you have exchanged two messages and the person is still using one word sentences, mm -hmm. then I would not move on. So I pretty much agree with her on this. Yeah. Well, and, and 
some men, you know, just they, they don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. that's one thing. I mean, she is such an intelligent woman. She's a witty writer. I, I did research her. She's I, I, I love her style. I love, you know, a lot of the articles that she has out there. She has mm -hmm. a list of like 10 things I don't want in a profile that just I just died laughing. I'll link to it. And yeah. but not everybody is like that. Sometimes, no. you know, especially when you're shy. So I, I, I agree that the one word, yeah, it's something that tends to be sent out to a lot of different women, but maybe just take one look if it's something you might, if someone you might be interested in. <laughs> and right. You can definitely make hasty judgments on people who don't, mm -hmm. who, are, who are not great texters. And so right. a lot of these rules are not good for people who are who are not good texters, who are mm -hmm. not great online. Um, she yeah. also says she doesn't usually send a first message. Mm -hmm. And she says that's an individual choice. But I, I focus more on women sending first messages, because otherwise, you just get what falls in your net. And it's not always good. So why not be the chooser and choose the ones you like, don't just give a like, which is very passive, mm -hmm. and send that first message. And then you have much more control over the situation. If mm -hmm. you've sent a thoughtful message and the person answers, hey, beautiful, mm -hmm. then you have your answer. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why she said that. I, I would think that for, I don't know her at all, but just by what, what she's read and how, how she's put herself out there that she would encourage women to do that. But so I, I just find this fascinating, the, the, the way that, uh, you know, she has built this. I mean, her, her group now, it started uh, with like 850 women, I believe she said, at the beginning of the year, it's now over 13,000. So she's definitely mm -hmm. hitting hitting some nerves here. Uh, and that's yeah. worth taking a look at. And I think people love rules. Like mm -hmm. she has 10 rules. She tells people do this. If you've mm -hmm. been burnt before, if you're frustrated, if you've wasted time with the wrong people. Mm -hmm. And I agree that we need some guidance you know, we're in alignment about a lot of these things. I think when you call them rules, they just become a little too rigid yeah. for me. No, uh, rule three, no notifications. What does that mean? It means that if you want to have a life, you don't <laughs> put notifications on your phone every time somebody messages you or matches with you. It can make you crazy. I mm -hmm. agree wholeheartedly with that one. I think it, it really keeps you from going insane. Rule number four talking about rules block to burn that let's yeah let's talk about that that's probably one of the key ones yeah so that's the big thing block and burn block block and burn <laughs> <laughs> so like we said earlier that most people block people who behave badly and mm -hmm. she used to do the same thing and then she realized that when she wants to stop seeing the same people in her feed mm -hmm. she needed to really block people people who message poorly, people who really didn't engage, people who didn't answer a message, whatever it is, mm -hmm. just start, start to really burn that haystack down so that you're only left with a few possibilities that are a better match for you. Mm -hmm. And I understand that. I think, you know, I, I started to think about that in my own dating life. And there are people who just keep popping up and you really don't want to engage with them. So why don't you mm -hmm. just block them? block them? Some sites, the problem is that when you block them, you also have to report them, I think. And oh. these are not people who behave terribly. They just mm -hmm. are people you're not interested yeah, in and you don't want to see anymore. So that's the whole thing. And that becomes the confusing part. Mm -hmm. And I am a member of her Facebook group and I find it fascinating to just see what people are confused about because I, I remember one one person got was messaging someone on Bumble, I think, and mm -hmm. the guy left a voice note. And she said, is that lazy that he left a voice note? Should I block to burn? And <laughs> it's like any lazy behavior, we're blocking to burn. And I'm thinking voice note is like the nice thing you could That's do. Nice. You have like an idea about what this person sounds like, and he's actually mm -hmm. leaving his voice. And she right away said, no, I, you know, this is, this is a nice thing, yeah. but that's the confusion. It's like, mm -hmm. it turned out to be a great guy. And I think they they're dating now, but she could have blocked to burn him mm -hmm. because she thought that, well, if he cared about me, he'd actually write something and not leave a voice that's, note. That's really interesting. Yeah. You, you're su it's surprising what kind of confusion can be created. I mean, in, in what we say here too, I see it in our comments. It's like, that, you didn't get this. <laughs> It's not what I meant. So exactly. yeah, something like that does need a little bit, a little bit more discussion.
no fighting with men was well, kind of obvious, isn't it? Or again, <laughs> maybe there's confusion about that. There actually is confusion about that. And mm -hmm. I, I agree with her on this one too. I think I used to do this and not necessarily fighting, but trying to school men. You know, mm. oh, you know, next time you might do better if you did this or, you know, this didn't work for me and you might want to try this or, um, you know, don't talk to me this way. If a person is being unkind in any way, just block to burn. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like they they don't you don't you don't school people. That's not your job. And it just gets people angry. So just get off, get, get yeah. off this messaging and move on. Yeah, no, that's I, I totally agree. Don't be a pen pal. I also totally agree with that. That doesn't go anywhere. Right. Yeah. I mean, so many people get mad because somebody's not getting off text. So my whole thing, again, is empowering women to say, hey, what works best for me is getting on a call or meeting as soon as possible. Would you like to exchange numbers? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm enjoying getting to know you. So there's a way to do this with kindness and with clarity. I wouldn't block to burn before yeah. I would say, hey, I would really like to get on a call. If they still continue texting you, then it's time to yeah. get off. This is interesting. Uh, I hadn't thought of this maybe again, because it's been a while since I've been on, but set your geography, but don't share your locations that that... Uh, decreases the number of like hookups <laughs> there are men who only want one thing uh sort of sort of speak do you how, what's your experience been with that yeah I don't, I don't really understand this one um mm -hmm. you know i know hookup apps you're meeting people who are five blocks away and you're meeting for a hookup you know that's how a lot of those apps work I just don't understand the hookup thing because we know where somebody lives. Uh, I, th I think she said that's what Tinder is based on or something. Again, I'm not familiar with Tinder. So, you know, if that is something that decreases a hookup thing, then, then I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. Tinder, yeah. by the way, is not just a hookup app. It's got a bad reputation for mm -hmm. being a hookup app. It was a hookup app in the beginning, but it's also a place where a lot of people find serious people. relationships. So I don't want to paint yeah. Tinder as this terrible yeah. Okay. I've, nice. I've heard that too, that, that it's really evolved and a lot of people have gotten to have some great success on Tinder. Well, mm -hmm. enough about that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number eight, this is uh, that this threw me ludic, no ludic looping. She really shows her, you know, her intellect here. I don't mean that in a bad <laughs> way. She just, you know, this woman is, is smart and clever <laughs> with her words. <laughs> so what is ludic looping? So she quotes this woman, Natasha Scholl, who's a cultural anthropologist and a professor mm -hmm. at MIT. Ludic loops are video gaming patterns mm -hmm. observed where a game has no plot development, no character development, no narrative arc, no beginning, no mm -hmm. end, like online dating, she said. Yeah. So she says, get out of the loop. Yeah. She said it's almost like playing the slot machines for hours, even though you're not winning, you're you're addicted to the process. I, yeah, that, mm -hmm. that that's a good Good point. Uh, rule number nine, no men who can't plan the date. You and I actually did a, a video on that. What if he wants me to plan the date? <laughs> what, what do you think about that one? So, you know, she says that it's not 100% extreme, mm -hmm. you know, her statement that men always have to plan the date. And I think what she's really trying to say is you want a man who's going to step up and say, mm -hmm. I'd like to take you out, you know, and suggest a place. But I would say there are also men who really don't know mm -hmm. what you want to do or men who are willing to come to your neighborhood and don't know anything about where you live. Mm -hmm. So if a man is willing to make the effort and come to where you live, give him some ideas about what you would like to do. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't think it's an indication that a man doesn't step up. And I think we have to give men a chance to <laughs> prove themselves. And we're also living in 2023 right now. Yeah. And um, it's a very different era and it's confusing. Men I, don't yeah. know always that they, that a woman wants them to plant the day. It, it's just. Yeah. There's more to it. I, I totally agree. I totally agree there. Uh, finally, rule 10, uh, treat the process of online dating as a job search. 
and not a takeout order. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting uh, because one thing that we always said, you know, don't make this a job search. <laughs> I'm not sure that's, she's implying that, uh, you know, we should do interviews and stuff, but uh, well, here, let me ask you, what, what, how did you take this role? She's saying, take it more seriously. Mm -hmm. It's not a takeout order. It's not like Chinese food, which is not going to make you full for very long. It's, mm -hmm. it's play the longer game. And mm -hmm. I, I actually have told women, you know, you're the CEO of your love life and you're deciding who to hire and who to fire. Mm -hmm. So that's how I look at it, that it's your job to figure out what works for you, not mm -hmm. just please pick me. And I think that for a lot of people dating online, and this is not just women, we're waiting to be chosen. We feel rejected if somebody doesn't answer our message, but it's important not to get too attached to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And to think about it, like if you were to be the interviewer, and mm -hmm. so I look at it more from the interviewer position, mm -hmm. not the, I'm hoping to get the job. Mm -hmm. um, if you were the interviewer and you would want to hire somebody, they'd have to go through several interviews for an important position. Mm -hmm. They've yeah. had, they'd have to prove themselves. They'd have to show up consistently. They would not get health insurance for three months because you need to see if they're in it for the long game. And so I, that's how I see it. I'm not sure she's saying exactly that, but mm -hmm. I, I see it maybe a little differently, mm -hmm. um, maybe from the interviewer, not the job search. Yeah. Well, in, in terms of making, uh, you know, working with the apps, cleaning up the, you know, online dating landscape, which is largely what, what she says that you know, the, the group is trying to do. I think that a lot of that makes sense. I think mm -hmm. that there's, there's more though to, to consider uh, not being quite as, as crass. I, I think that some of the reading that I did, uh, you know, I thought of, well, what if, you know, a man had written this? about finding a woman, we'd, we'd just be, we'd probably be up in arms, you know, say, what a dick. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I think some of her crassness is because she is so smart and has such a witty sense of humor. Uh, she does, she, I think she uses sarcasm in a very funny way, but that doesn't always come across for other people to do. So I, I would be a little, little hesitant there. Uh, you know, in that that sort of advice, uh, what what uh, what would you want to add here in closing, Sandy? One of the things that I think is important about this method mm -hmm. that people may misconstrue, but I think is the overarching message mm -hmm. is that we really need to take ourselves seriously mm -hmm. and to treat ourselves with respect and mm -hmm. to treat other humans with respect too. Yeah. And if we're not getting that back, don't give a hundred chances to people. Right. Like it, we don't have time. So don't be emotional about dating in the beginning, really have that thick skin. And I think that's what she's saying as well. And I, and that's the takeaway for a lot of mm -hmm. the people I work with is just yeah. don't get attached. You know, there's this one woman in my group yeah. was saying, oh my God, I met the perfect person. He had a great profile and I know he's perfect for me, but he told me he's not interested but I think he should take me out for coffee. And I'm like, he told you no. He told you move no. On. Move on. Move on. Yeah. He is not the last person to walk the planet. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to get less attached and mm -hmm. know that if you if you approach dating in this way, I think it is easier to find that needle in the haystack. Yeah. Well, a great, uh, you know, really interesting. Uh, like I said, it's really uh, taken off. Uh, it's definitely hitting nerves. I will link to her information to, to the article so you can look it up yourself. In fact, I, I think I will. I'm going to contact her, see if she wants to come in second act. I think she'd be a great guest. <laughs> yeah. Sandy, thank you so much. I will also link to all of your information as usual to your website, Last First Date. If you want to coach with Sandy directly, please contact her. She's wonderful to work with. And then of course your book, Choice Points in Dating. And Sandy, I look forward to our next discussion on Second Act TV. Mm -hmm.